All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation. And in today's episode, we're going to be going over the brand new units that just recently came out into the game alongside the whole Skyborne Spectacle uh, event as well. Okay. Uh, it just We're just going over the units, not the event. Anyways. Uh, but we'll just jump right into it. Honestly, it's... I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's not nearly as exciting as some of the past few shows. A shade wolf have been. knows not Probably death. the best way to word it. A shade wolf um, knows I'm just gonna go ahead and jump, just jump straight into it because, well, I guess. So our first unit is a five-star wind. Uh, I forgot what these called, like katana blades or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's blade. Uh, blade unit called Victor. The aesthetic is, is quite drastic compared to some of the usual type of units that we tend to get. Uh, but his first activated ability is called Steel Formation. Deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies. Inflicts bleeding. Activate and activate skill shift if the attack connects. Phase 2 adds an additional 3% increase to the entire team's water resistance for 20 seconds. While Phase 3 also grants all teammates a 1U shield that nullifies damage less than... 20% of the user's maximum HP. This does not stack with any other shield. Now, just in terms of steel formation, um, the main thing to, there's only two things here that actually stick out to me that like I see as good or viable, decent, however you want to word it. The first one being the bleeding, as I've mentioned a few times already before in the past and previous videos, there's basically like three types of mechanics that I view as like some of the best types of mechanics in the game. Bleeding being one of them. So, and bleeding tends to be more tuned towards dark units. So the fact that it's on anything but a dark unit, this case wind, uh, is already something to kind of like make note of. So that's one benefit right there. The second main benefit for me anyways, is the fact that it has an additional 3% increase to the entire team's water resistance for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a long time, um, especially the fact that that does not include the fact that you can try, you can try, depending on how your build is, you can trigger a steel formation multiple times and potentially even get those phase twos to stack if you can do it quick enough. So, yeah, that's that's the second thing that pops out to me. Anything that any type of an ability that can affect the entire team in my book is always really good to have. Um, and especially since it's it's a wind unit, it's naturally good against water. So it's altogether not a bad ability. Not a bad ability. I can't speak today. I I will say though that it is still a bit lackluster. Um, it is a support unit, so I'm not ex expecting anything like heavy damage related. I am expecting more of uh, more types of like buffs, debuffs type of stuff. Um, although it's not too bad, I would kind of rate this ability more as like a uh, above average ability. But it's not OP or anything either, if that makes sense. Um, on a like, if I were to give it like a rating, like between S tier being the best, and like F tier being the lowest, I'd probably give this maybe, and like, let's say, let's say, uh, let's say like C tier, B, C tier is about average. Okay. I would, or I would probably rate this around a, like about like a B plus, like a B, B plus. That's kind of where I would put this. Uh, second activated ability is called Lethal Stratagem. Deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies and grants all teammates immunity to knock back for 15 seconds. Now this is a fairly interesting ability just because of the fact that you don't really see many, at least not, not as of right now, um, you don't really see many other support abilities have something like that. Um, and frankly, at least as of right now, this comes across to me like my gut instinct is that this might actually be really good later on in the future but as of right now i don't really see any 
partic particular like benefit for this. Just because of the fact that how often is it that you get knocked back like all the time consistently? That's the only time where I feel like this ability would actually become viable or you would want to use this in a battle is when you're fighting an enemy boss or something that's like consistently just pushing you away from him or something. That's the only time I can really see you wanting to use this type of ability. But if you're not in that type of situation, you don't really need this. So, that, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get at there is that I don't really see this. I, I find this ability to be very niche. It's only going to happen in very particular types of situation. Um, now, after saying that, that doesn't mean that now, because of the fact that the unit is in the game now, that doesn't mean that they will start uh, releasing enemies that do start doing that, that do start pushing you back a crap ton. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. it. It is a gacha game after all, so gacha games tend to do stuff like that. So, just a little note. But overall, in terms of the activated abilities, uh, I would still rate Victor kind of more like a BB plus character so far. The co-ability strength plus 10%, not the highest I've seen, but you know, it's kind of kind of average. Um, passive abilities, HP 7% equals strength plus 13%, again, average. Has a 100% bog resistance, again, average. Um, buff time plus 30%, that's actually fairly decent. So altogether, even though it's a five star character, I would kind of rate Victor more of like a B plus, B plus character, if that makes sense. He, he has some nice utility, but because of the fact that the utility isn't strong enough to warrant me wanting to chase after him, um, but he's not weak by any means either. It's more of the fact that a lot of his kit tends to be more useful for niche situations more than anything else if that makes sense um, and that's kind of why i'm kind of giving him like a b plus like it's useful utility but not useful enough but it is above average anyways on to the next unit next unit is a dragon unit five star win called value all right activate ability Purushu prana i think i pronounced that right Deals wind damage to enemies in a line and increases the damage dealt to the user's next skill by 40%. Passive abilities, strength plus 20%. Uh, skin skill damage plus 90%. Basically, we, we've seen other units, uh, dragon units like this already. I've mentioned before in previous videos that any of these type of units that have the whole skill damage plus 90% type thing are pretty much up there. Like, I would rate these. These type of dragons are kind of like A tier. A tier dragons okay um, not s tier just because the fact they kind of lack utility to make him s tier but just on the raw strength alone makes him a tier so altogether it's it's a pretty solid dragon if you happen to pull him uh next up we have the four star units noel uh, this is a wand user activated ability best regards increases the strength of wind attuned adventurers in the team by 25% for 15 seconds and deals wind damage to enemies directly ahead for Sincerely Yours ability. Now, the Sincerely Yours, that's a very basic move. Best Regards though is actually pretty good. That's an actually pretty good ability, especially for a four star. The fact you have an AOE, AOE support ability like this on a four star unit, that's kind of nuts. That's honestly kind of nuts. Like, this would be the type of abilities I would expect on a 5-star uh, unit. So the fact I see it on the 4-star, that's kind of nuts. Um, Co-ability, skill damage, plus 50%. That's pretty good. Or, not pretty good, but that's pretty decent. Uh, I, I would I would argue that's that's better than, uh, than Victor's co-ability, too, where it's just strength plus 10%. But that's just my take on it. Uh, abilities buff time plus 10%, that's fairly good. Bog resistance 100%. Primed defense plus 8%. The fact that we're seeing this on a 4 star unit is also still pretty good. So, altogether, I feel like Noel is pretty good as well. Um, this is. Uh, 
for a four star unit okay compared to other four star units i'd probably give her maybe like a how i guess like a b minus like a C plus B minus, something along those lines. Probably more along B minus, just because of the fact that she has prime defense, um, buff time plus 25 percent is fairly good. Uh, on top of the fact of the best regards affecting the whole team potentially, if we're doing just a, a win type team, which is which is very viable, um, especially if we're just going at a, a water attribute quest. Uh, so her kit is good enough to warn her above average, um, but it's but she still has a lot of like the basic abilities or skills that kind of keep her down a lot, such as Sincerely Yours. It's just a straight up just woo, arrow attack. <laughs> it's a straight up just shoot forward attack, which is nothing special. Um, stuff like that. So, fairly decent. Not the greatest, but fairly decent. Anyways, that was it in terms of the new units. There was not a lot, to be honest. Um, in terms of whether or not I think you guys should hold though on this new batter, I personally recommend just saving. What are these? What are these called? Diamondite or whatever? Uh, a shade wolf knows I not what these, death. What the currency is called? A shade wolf. But I just recommend only... just saving your currency for now, just because of the fact that a anniversary is coming up. It's just around the corner. Um, I think it's there was actually an announcement about it. I think it's coming what in like a month's time or something, more or less. I recommend just saving it uh, B just because of the fact that the the new units in this showcase aren't exactly the greatest like at Like the best thing in this new showcase is literally the dragon um, But there's many there's multiple other dragons similar to it, too on top of the fact that for the most part you're only gonna really get kind of like B tier type units, at least for the the featured units, anyways. So, I personally recommend just holding on to it, wait for a better showcase to come out instead, uh, which is most likely going to be around anniversary. Um, and because of the fact that this is going to be the first anniversary for the game, expect some crazily good stuff to come out. Very possible we might have another Gala a Shade unit Wolf knows not death. come out for a shade anniversary. Wolf no very possible or just something completely busted and limited keyword there a something limited wolf. might come out as well for dragalia lost first anniversary so which tends to happen a lot of god so i highly recommend just stocking death. up try and save as much of the 10 pull tickets that they give out save as much of your uh the currency as possible all of the uh the single Full tickets that you get from the events and stuff. Just save up, just stock up as much as possible, especially if you're free, free to play. Um, so that way you can just go nuts. A on shade wolf knows not out. death. They've already kind of had wolf. and given us some gifts, uh, like a preemptive gifts for anniversary as well. I already accepted mine. I'll, uh, I know they had a. I noticed about it though that lists all of it. Hold on, let me see if I can find it again. Here it is. All right, so they're giving us. If you haven't logged in already to see it. They're giving us 30 copies of a four leaf clover, 1 million rupees. Rupees aren't exactly too important from my experience, but it's still a lot. Uh, 10 skip tickets. Oh, my bad. No, we're getting 20 skip tickets. That's actually pretty good. Just because, at least in my personal uh, experience, skip tickets. I use skip tickets all the time just because of the fact that they save me so much time on having to grind uh especially when i'm all when all i'm doing is just farming materials in order to level up my facilities and such or my weapons or my units or whatever my mana circles anything that requires grinding they help out so much on just cutting down time on reducing that grinding um as well as they're giving us 10 exquisite honeys if you don't remember exquisite honeys restore 30 uh, stamina so essentially what I was able to do was I just redeemed like all my exquisite honeys <laughs> got an easy like few hundred stamina and then I just like spammed all of my skip tickets all at once on like a uh, particular material farming quests and I was just able to farm a crap ton of them all at once uh, I even like completed most of the uh, the skyborn spectacle for bronze immediately right away as well uh, like I will show you here. 
like hold on like i uh let's see this no no not that one the cyclops one i basically just spammed the the expert stage and just like skipped it a bunch of it until i completed it <clears throat> and i completed bronze already on like the first day or whatever so now now all i have to do is just do the uh the actual multiplayer the co-op the yeah the co-op quests in order to get the the silver and gold so skip tickets are very useful um so the fact they're giving us 20 of them that's that's pretty good in my opinion uh i think that was the last or did they give something else i don't remember they gave something nope that was it but altogether that was just a kind of thank you gift in advance from the dragali lost team which at least for me i i highly appreciate dragali lost definitely seems to be one of my favorite gotcha games as of right now in quite a long time just because of how well it treats the players which is not something that can be said for most gotcha games but other than that that was it for today guys go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are about the new units in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way i know when i upload more videos such as this one my name is brian from khx nation i'll see you guys in the next video peace guys